Okay, boys and girls, today on this very chilly day, we're going to be taking a look at my top three Victorinox. And these knives, as some people may be surprised on the channel, are actually taking quite a bit of liking, or I'm really warming up to these blades and really enjoying carrying Swiss Army knives, especially when I'm outdoors. So today I thought I would cover three Victorinox that I tend to gravitate towards or that tend to be my favorites. Now, as far as this list goes, we're gonna cover from lowest function to highest function, and then we're gonna cover which one is my favorite, or we're gonna go in order of high, least function to highest function, and then most like to least like. So uh, let's jump right into this. And as always, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this. Okay, so I have these guys lined up in highest, or sorry, lowest to highest function. Okay, so we're starting off with the Victorinox Farmer. Now this one, of course, is the lowest function of all of these tools. It is also an Alox version, so it is nice and cool looking with its uh, grooved aluminum. But essentially, the Farmer has the basic or mo maybe most basic tool set I would consider for being righteous for the wilderness. You have a good sized main blade, you have a good sized saw, you also have a really functional, and I actually love the Farmer and Pioneer awls. They are very, very sharp, and they are designed differently, as I will show you, from the other Victorinox awls. But essentially, with those handful of tools especially, it's going to allow you to do crafting and general camp work and camp life without any type of excess tools. And so that is one of the nice things about the uh, Victorinox Farmer is that it doesn't have a lot of excessive tools for the wild, but at the same time too, it also doesn't necessarily leave you lacking. Now, I do think it could have a few more tools, but realistically speaking, this blade is pretty well squared away, or this multi-tool is pretty well squared away. So that is the Victorinox Farmer, and this is not the X version. I ended up deciding against the X version just because I like scissors for EDC, but I don't necessarily use scissors a whole lot out in the wild. So that is the Farmer. Okay, so the next one is going to be, really has to be, the Victorinox that kind of started it all for me, and that is the Victorinox Huntsman. Now, I think that the Huntsman is, once again, if you're going more minimalistic, it's kind of towards the route of the farmer, but you still want just a few more tools, maybe that scissor is actually important to you. You know, this uh, Huntsman it does have scissors included. It does also have a corkscrew um, and a handful of other pretty nifty tools, but it is a little bit larger, a little bit heavier, and you know, does have some tools that you might not use. Uh, this is, of course, the awl. Definitely not as big a fan of the awl on these uh, plastic handled Victorinoxes. They're a really weird looking and definitely not my favorite awl, but. Overall, um, the Huntsman is a pretty darn good tool, and once again, I think the Huntsman is basically, you know, still leaning towards minimalism, but has more tools. So you obviously you do have your main blade, you have your saw, you also do have a pen blade, which is pretty handy, but you know, once again, I think the reason why I lean most towards the farmer is just honestly a lot of the tools in the Huntsman and even the Ranger uh, just don't really get used a whole lot. So they are nice tools to have. I'm not necessarily going to fight having two blades or a nice saw, you know, or a nice awl. But at the same time, too, you don't necessarily need it. So now, as all these fans decide to turn off, <laughs> we're going to talk about the Ranger. Now, this is the Ranger, and I think that if I had to choose between the Huntsman and the Ranger. Even the Ranger is slightly larger and slightly heavier. I would probably still choose this Ranger. And it really just comes down to the one singular fact. Uh, so just before we dive into the Ranger, Ranger has the same basic uh, tool set as the Huntsman, just adds a few more tools. But I think the biggest tool that is an advantage with the Ranger over the Huntsman is this really small, chisel and some people may ask you know why do you like the chisel why do you favor it so much i do talk about this chisel quite a bit but it essentially allows you to do things like create dovetail joints and create different uh 
small crafts that you can use around your camp, just slightly easier than the Huntsman. And so if you are gonna go for a larger tool that has more capacity than the Farmer, I'm gonna choose the one that has the most realistic capacity for me. So that would be the Ranger. Now, once again, the Huntsman is awesome and it was my first real Swiss Army knife or first real Victorinox. I did have a classic before this, but you know, it's a pretty tiny uh, little multi-tool. So I don't know if I'd consider that my first real Victorinox, but um, so that was the Huntsman. The Huntsman is great, but I think that overall the Ranger just really steps up the functionality and the usability of the tool. Like I said, you do retain, you know, the pen blade. You also retain the main blade and of course things like the saw as well so all of the same functionality that the ranger has you know including scissors sorry all the functionality that the huntsman has including scissors you know your can opener sorry your bottle opener and can opener for that matter uh, are all there so all of those tools are definitely there um, it's just a little bit more functional and a little bit better so if i'm looking to step up you know from my farmer usually i'll step up to the ranger so the huntsman doesn't see as much time Okay, so now let's jump into which ones I like the most. Now you can probably already kind of tell where I'm leaning on this one. My first one that I like the most is the Farmer. And the Farmer, the reason why I like it is I've always kind of held this reason and the primary reason why I didn't really like Victorinox's was that I felt that, you know, sure, I do get to carry things like blades, things like saws, things that I would use, but I also end up carrying a lot of tools that I don't use. So, you know, things like this some corkscrew, um, you know, it's one thing that you can use in the wilderness and it, you can make it function, but realistically speaking, realistically speaking, you know, I'm just not using quite a few of the tools on both of these. And so there's always kind of that aversion to carrying them because I'm bringing out more than I really need to and with these tools. And I just was never a huge fan of that. However, the farmer is nice because it is probably the most scaled back you can get without losing the tools that I'm actually using. So having a really solid, really nice, you know, main blade for cutting, doing different, you know, folding knife tasks, it has that, you know, it does have a pretty good saw, you know, the same size saw as both of these guys. And so that is something that I really would use. And you know, it does have an awl, a really nice awl actually, that I really would use. So those three tools are, you know, tools that I'm going to actually use. And aside from those three primary tools, the only other tools that are left are your can opener and your bottle opener. And while I'm probably not the largest fan of those tools, I certainly don't open any bottles outdoors and I'm probably not gonna open any cans. These do have especially this one, a nice kind of pry bar slash flathead. So I can get some use out of that one. Um, but realistically, you know, I'm not carrying a whole lot of excess for tools. And that's why I chose the Farmer over the Farmer X is once again, you know, the scissors, while more applicable in EDC or everyday carry, I'm just not really using scissors outdoors. So opted for a minimal tool that, uh, fits my needs with as little excess as possible. So that's why the farmer is my favorite. Now, should I feel like I do need more out of a pocket tool? That's where I have the Ranger. The Ranger just steps up essentially, you know, does add all of those tools. It's a little bit, definitely a bit bulkier than the farmer, but at the same time too, it does have a little bit more. And I am still, thinking or I still do get use out of you know the smaller pen blade the main blade the uh, saw the chisel on the back and a handful of other tools in here so you know while I do have to carry a few more tools and I'm really realistically going to use things like the corkscrew you know this does have more features that I still do like to have and will use if I have them so that's the uh, the next tool and my second favorite uh, Victorinox lastly is going to be the Huntsman now I think the Huntsman is a great tool don't get me wrong and uh, there's nothing wrong with this tool it's just that between the farmer and between the ranger there's really uh, 
if I want less functionality, I'll go to the farmer. If I want more functionality, I'll go to the ranger. So I don't necessarily need the huntsman as much, but I do think that the huntsman is a great starting ground. If I am looking, or if I do recommend uh, Victorinox to people who don't have any Swiss Army knives, I will usually uh, recommend the Huntsman because it's probably one of the best places to start because it is a good medium ground. You're going to have you know, quite a few tools that you're going to use, maybe a couple tools in here that you're not going to use, but overall the usability of the Huntsman is pretty high. So uh, if I if I'm recommending one, I usually do recommend the Huntsman, though the Ranger is my personal choice for plastic handled Victorinoxes, and I think it just fits my needs better. And once again, my go-to usually will be the Farmer, though, just for minimalism and also aesthetics. It is very eye-pleasing and is a very nice, fun tool. Their ALOX models are really cool, and uh, if you haven't checked out the Pioneer or the Farmer before, I would highly recommend it. They are just gorgeous tools, if nothing else. Uh, I do really like them for that. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at these top three Victorinoxes. Let me know what your favorite Victorinox is down in the comment section below. And as always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.